Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to create a Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive. Now, once it becomes an official release by Microsoft on October 5th, they will probably release a media creation tool to build your Windows 11 bootable USB flash drives. But as of right now, you need to use the Windows Insider program to download the ISO, and I'll show you how to do it. The first thing to remember is you need to follow the system requirements. There's quite stringent uh, system requirements here. Trusted platform module uh, TPM 2.0 is required and also UEFI and secure boot. Now there is a workaround. People are using that workaround, but remember you won't receive security updates. So the Windows Insider preview downloads, you need to sign into the account and need to be inside that program and you'll be able to download the ISO. It shows you how to do a clean install, how to do an in-place upgrade and also, you know, how to do um, the download process for the ISO. So all the way down the bottom of the page, you'll see select edition. You can now select the edition that you want to download. So you can see here Windows inside a preview dev channel, uh, the beta channel and so on. So you can choose which one you want to download and so you can install it. So I'm going to go for the uh, preview beta channel here and click confirm. And then all we need to do is select the language. So I'm going to choose the language. There's quite a few languages to choose from. Click confirm, and this will then allow you to download the 64-bit ISO file. Now, I'd advise you to download it officially from Microsoft rather than one of those shady websites on the internet because you're going to end up getting yourself infected. So down on the bottom left-hand corner, you should see the ISO coming down. It's over 5 gigabytes. And again, as I said, in the future, they will probably release the official one using the media creation tool. So in the meantime, you can use something like Rufus and you can use the portable version to create your bootable USB flash drive. I'm going to use the portable version here to download and just click on this to download it. Now, another really easy way of creating bootable media is to use uh, Ventoy. Now, I've been using Ventoy for quite a while. It's quite easy to set up. I've made a video to show you how to do that. You can check that video out online. But Ventor is a great way of dropping your ISO files into your USB flash drive and it will just simply boot to them. It's that simple. So once you've uh, installed and built Ventor onto a USB flash drive, you just drag and drop all your ISO files into your USB flash drive in the Ventor folder and away you go. And it's that simple. So you can see here, I've got Rufus here and I've also got my Windows 11 Insider Preview ISO, which we're going to use to build you can see I've already got a Ventoy one here. I'm going to use this one and format it. But you can see there's an ISO in there. I've just dropped it inside there. And I could boot to that using Ventoy if I wanted to. But we're going to be sticking with Rufus for this video. So let's click on Rufus and open it up. It says there's an update there. So I'm just going to say no here. And look for uh, the device. Now you can see there's a device here. It says multiple partitions. That's because I used it for Ventoy. Yours might only have one USB flash drive up here. So click on select and choose the ISO image. So we've selected our ISO now. I'm just going to quickly change the uh, volume label and call this Windows 11 so I know exactly what it is. And moving up to here, partition scheme and uh, image option. You can leave image option as standard Windows installation. GPT is for newer systems, UEFI non-CSM. These are for newer PCs which will support uh, Windows 11. MBR is for legacy systems, older systems, and you can see it supports BIOS and UEFI. If you want to know what yours is, go to system information inside Windows. You can see this is a modern day computer with UEFI BIOS and also uh, i5 10th gen, so it supports Windows 11. So once you've determined your system does support Windows 11, we can move on to the building process. You can see I'm leaving this as GPT here and UEFI non-CSM. You can use the MBR if you want to as well. So let me go ahead, leave that to file system NTFS and click start. And this will then start to prepare the USB flash drive. It's going to erase all the data on that drive. You can see it's detected uh, multiple partitions. It's going to wipe all of those and basically install Windows 11 onto that USB flash drive and then make it bootable. So we can boot to that drive and install Windows 11 onto our system. I'm going to speed this process up. You can now see that it's basically saying that you have just created a media that uses the 
UEFI NTFS bootloader. Please remember that to uh, boot to this media, you must disable secure boot. If you don't want to see that message, you would then make that partition scheme MBR. Okay. Anyway, moving on to the check for compatibility, you can download the Microsoft check for compatibility tool here. Click on this one here, and this will open up the compatibility tool. From there, you can literally click on finish, and now we can run a scan on the system to see whether the system is usable with Windows 11. Yeah, I'm signed in already to the Microsoft account here, so that's good. And what I'm going to do next is basically run a check on the system. So let me quickly do that right now. So there's a little check now up the top here. So let's go ahead and check. And you can already see that this PC meets Windows 11 requirements because I'm running Windows 11 in the background. So you can see here, if I click on show more information, it will basically show me more information about the system. And it basically tells me that uh, it does support secure boot and it also has TPM 2.0 and all the requirements that Microsoft require for you to install Windows 11. Now, Microsoft said that they are not going to be blocking people from installing Windows 11 on unsupported uh, hardware by using the workaround method. But what they have said is if you do install it on old legacy hardware, you will not receive any sort of security updates. So that in itself says it's not worth installing on a system if you're not going to receive updates on that operating system. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Until Microsoft released the official Windows 11 ISO, that is basically how you can make a bootable USB flash drive uh, using Windows 11 Insider Preview. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. A big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.